हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड सेवन सो वी आर हेव विद दिस प्रॉब्लम फाइव फ्रॉम द टॉपिक लीनियर एलजेब्रा सो लेट एस फर्स्टली हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट इट सेज सो इट सेज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेट इज अ बेसिस फॉर द सब स्पेस so we have a subspace okay so this is our subspace now what question says which of the following set is the basis okay so this is a subspace of a vector space of all two cross two matrices okay this is what is given in the question now you have four options and you have to choose okay basis out of them are you getting my point or not so this is your question so let me change my ink and after that we will begin this question so okay so let me write here now what do you understand by basis okay firstly try to understand basis so let us say a set capital b okay a set capital b subset of a vector space v we are talking right now about the basis of this capital v, uh, v vector space are you getting my point so b subset of v is called a basis is called a basis if b is linearly independent this set is linearly independent as well as span of this set b is equal to v okay linear span of b is equal to v so this is the definition for the basis now firstly see this property is also important that b will be called a basis if and only uh, if if uh, providing the condition that it should be a subset are you getting my point or not so b should not contain any element which is not inside v okay suppose what i mean to say that suppose there exist x belonging to b such that x is not inside v okay sorry x is not inside v then there will be a problem we we cannot call that set b as the basis are you getting my point or not so this is what is happening in this question okay we will try to figure out it from here in this option a okay in the option a you have this element right 1 0 Zero, zero. It's inside the basis. Okay. If this option is true, then it's uh, it's this element is inside the basis of the vector space W. We have the vector space W for which we have to find out the basis. Now, according to the terminology, this is x, this is y, this is uh, what? This is zero and this is t. Okay. So this is t. now according to the w the definition of the w what we have that the element inside w should follow these two properties are you getting my point so what are those two properties we must have x plus 2y plus t is equal to 0 as well as it should satisfy y plus t is equal to 0 if the element is not satisfying these two conditions then it cannot be inside w now check whether this element will satisfy this property or not so see this is my x 1 plus twice of 0 plus 0 this is not equal to 0 are you getting my point this condition is not satisfied by this element right so it cannot be inside the vector space w so this element does not belongs to w now since it's it's not inside w that clearly means that a cannot be a basis are you getting my point or not using this condition so from here your a option is incorrect now let me check my b option in the b option take your first element so first element what you have take your element 2 1 0 minus 1 now check this condition x plus 2 y plus 2 plus 2 minus 1 this thing is equal to 0 or not no this thing is not equal to 0 therefore b option is also incorrect 
now coming to the c option so for the c option what you have for the c option you have minus 1 okay minus 1 1 2 minus 1 okay so now see firstly that is it satisfying these uh, these two properties that we have or not okay so now in in your w subspace what property do you have that this zero term should be inside w are you getting my point or not according to the definition of w a to one must be zero according to the definition of w now since a to one is not zero here therefore this does not belongs to w are you getting my point so c is incorrect therefore we don't need to check anything about your d option it will be a basis okay of course you can check if you want that uh, whether it is it is a lie because it's a singleton set so it will be a lie it's a non-zero singleton set so it will be a lie and now you have to check whether the span of b is your w or not this is what you have to check so finally what we have proved that d is your correct option by discarding all the options that we have are you getting my point so thank you